So Dan, as we stand here on the front porch of your house, I think it's time I told you how much I have always wondered what the other churches in our area are like. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've always wanted to find that out as well. Let's let's find out what they're like, yeah, Chris. Let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, look, it's a Baptist church. A Baptist church? Yeah. I hear they take their baptism pretty seriously over here. Anglican, Dan. I wonder what it would be like to be an Anglican. Wait a minute, Chris. We're Anglicans. Oh, yeah. And this is our church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. This is the word of the Lord. We are bound by His word. The Bible reading is from 1 Chronicles 8, 14 to 19. Asia, Shasta, Jeremiah, Sebediah, Aaron, Edom, Michael, Ishmael, and Joel were the sons of Barak. Sebediah, Meshelah, Isli, Heba, Ishua, Isliel, and Joel were the sons of Eshua. Zero, Sabda, Eliam, Zilhi, Eli, Adrian, Kariah, and Samuel were the sons of Sid. This is the word of the Lord. You know what, Dan? I've always wanted to know. What on earth is a life gate? More importantly, what do they do inside life gate? Hey Dan, it's the United Church. The Uniting Church, what do they do? Unite churches? Who does that? Yeah, who would unite churches? Oh, wait, we do. So what about the Presbyterians, Chris? Yeah, you know what, I hear they are like the craziest cats on the street blocks. It's just like a non-stop party, like every single day and night of the week. Yeah, you know, I could tell you stories that would curl your toenails. Pitiful. Can you believe that on page 926, they failed to mention the Davidic line of Rahab in the footnotes? Quite the conundrum. But shalom, my fellow interphalapsarian inheritor of utopic paradise. Ah, uh, shalom, my friend. I've been rethinking our biblical theological stance concerning interpretations of the Pentateuch, which lend credence to superphalapsarianism. Well, I remain ostensibly convicted that interphalapsarian interpretations of the Pentateuch rely too heavily upon an anthropomorphic understanding of the divine's character. <laughs> So 
So Dan, what did you learn on our whirlwind tour of our local churches? Well Chris, I've learned that we're all really, really different and surprisingly all very strange. Yeah. I never knew our church was that boring. Yeah. 